James Kaufman, World News Report today, October 8th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had another X-Class solar flare. This was an X1.84 class solar flare. It looks like it peaked right after 2 UTC time or right after 9 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. This flare is still active and still in M-Class territory. Today we did have a 30% chance of having an X-Class solar flare. Uh, we can make that 100% now. We had a 75% chance of an M-Class solar flare and we've been over a C baseline for months now. Currently at an M4.22 as this flare resides. Again, the X1.84 was directly earth facing, as I will soon show you. Over to HMI Intensigram, this X class solar flare was directly earth facing out of 3848. Wow, folks. Directly earth facing. I will show you all that. We currently have seven. Let's see, seven Earth-facing sunspot groups, and that will be more so in the morning unless 3847 makes it around the limb here. It's like we're definitely going to have to name some new sunspots in, by tomorrow morning. They're calling this a strong radio blackout. X-flare, uh, 3848. We've been watching that sunspot for some time. An R3 strong radio blackout event. Now it does not look very strong actually on the D region absorption prediction center, but it looks extremely strong on our GOES solar ultraviolet imager. Let's take a look over to our GOES solar ultraviolet imager. This is some X flare, definitely directly earth facing. And you can almost be assured that it generated a chrome mass ejection. You can see the plasma leaving the sun. We also have a large coronal hole that opened up as the flare went off. Check this out. Wild. It opened up really all the way over to here. Never seen anything like that before. Now I've been watching the sun many moons. All right, over to Lasco C3, we see Atlas. Absolutely huge on Lasco, headed supposedly not quite to the sun. It's going to actually turn before it gets to the sun. Now, some people say that the tail will be broken up by the sun. You can see the expelled halo eruption right at the end of Lasco, right here at the very end. Remember, the sun's only this little dot here, and I will hold this off so you can see that we have a Halo explosion here at the very end. Wow, this is going to be some flare. Definitely a halo explosion. You can see it coming out for an X1.84. Now let me show you some more because this looks more powerful for, uh, than the X9 flare, the X7 flare. I'll show you why. 100% chance that we have a CME inbound, a chrome mass ejection inbound. And look at the ghost proton flux. Absolutely unbelievable. We have the 10 million volt, the 50 million volt, and the 100 million volt, and even the 500 million volt. Looks like it reacted. They're headed up towards the space weather threshold. Thus far, still headed up. We can see that the 100 million volt is, well, starting to drop off a bit. This was quite a flare. Especially when we didn't see any of this happen with the X9 or the X7.6 solar flare. We should have seen something happen there. I think it was Memorex. Now, after my lesson to know in NASA, they in fact did get the protons right this time on the chart. But this is the maximum D region absorption that we had off of that X flare. Based on that proton count, we should actually start to see a proton storm, which it looks like we're going into. 
we should, should see a deregion absorption prediction event, which we don't even see a really big flare here. It looks like it could be an M1 flare, not an X1.84 flare. Very, very strange indeed, but definitely a chromal mass ejection heading directly towards Earth. With that said, we're not into the event long enough to have any NASA models or no models put up. We definitely saw the chromal mass ejection. It was definitely center disk, directly Earth-facing. So this is going to be another inbound chromal mass ejection. And I believe that this other 2, two plus X flare from yesterday also will be. We did see the protons pop when it went off. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.